Good morning and welcome to our time of devotions. I'm Chaplain Dawn Holt Lauber and I'm grateful that you are here as we look at God's holy word this morning to begin our day, also spend time in prayer and the singing of our beloved hymns of the faith. As I spoke on Tuesday of this week, I'm sharing a word or a declaration, a promise from Jesus, from our study of God, Mark's gospel, as a guide to help us in our prayer lives, as we try to understand who God is and what God does, and also to, to know more about Jesus in our lives and how he walks with us in our particular journeys of sorrow, struggling, troubles, the joy, everyday life, Jesus is with us. And so I'm hoping the spiritual practice of focusing on one of Jesus' promises or declarations will help us bolster our faith and our prayer lives. I know I have experienced in my own prayer life the lack of strength sometimes and, and eloquence before the Lord when I'm not really even sure what to say. And so looking at particular phrases that Jesus himself says will help me as I learn more about Jesus and also learn in humility bringing my prayer requests and petitions before the Lord and knowing how he in fact answers me. So I began this week looking at a sentence, a verse from Mark chapter 1, verses 40 through 42. This is the scene where the leper comes running up to Jesus and asks to be made whole and clean again, and then also adds, if you are willing. And Jesus responds immediately and passionately, Yes, I am willing. And that is a prayer response for each one of us. Whatever it is we are calling out to the Lord, whatever petition or concern, what praise or need we have on our hearts and minds today, we can know that the Lord says, I am willing. I am willing to hear you. I am willing to be a part of your life. I am willing to heal you. I am willing to show my love for you in a multitude of ways. And so we use that phrase where Jesus says, I am willing to help us trust that God is with us, answering our prayers, listening to us, responding. So today I want to read also from Mark chapter one and then also look at Mark chapter two, two similar scenes where Jesus is calling his disciples. So the phrase today that we're focusing on is when Jesus says, come, follow me. And he also even says more simply, follow me. So first here from Mark chapter 1, verses 16 through 18. As Jesus walked beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. And then skipping over to Mark chapter 2 verses 13 through 14, once again Jesus went out beside the lake. A large crowd came to him and he began to teach them. As he walked along he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him, and Levi got up and followed him. So the first phrase that we focused on was when Jesus says, I am willing. And I invite you to keep that in mind as you pray today to remember that Jesus is willing to heal you, willing to be in your life, be present with you. Trust that the Lord is willing to give you what you need in this day. And our second phrase from Jesus is, come, follow me, or even more simply, follow me. This invitation by Jesus to his disciples is also an invitation for us to give our lives over to Jesus, to believe in him, to follow him wherever he may be leading us, to follow Jesus wherever he leads us, 
does not always mean actual traveling, although for some it, it might be. We think of missionaries who have traveled far and wide throughout the world, and the Lord has called them to many different places. So it can be that we are called to actual traveling, but it's not exclusively that. Following Jesus is about serving him wherever we are today. Serving Jesus is how we help our neighbors. It's in how we witness to the people who work around us, our friends and loved ones that we might be connecting with over the phone even. It's how we share uh, God's love with our children, our grandchildren. It's the life stories that we might share that testify to God's goodness and faithfulness in our lives, as well as looking to the biblical narrative to, to show God's faithfulness throughout history, throughout his creation. That's how we know how to respond to come and follow me. This is about having a thriving prayer life which lifts up the names of those friends and loved ones who are in need today. That's how we give our lives over to Jesus and follow him. So we don't need to travel very far at all, right from where we live, right from where we are right now. We can follow and serve Jesus by lifting up in prayer those in need today. Perhaps it's about picking up the phone and reaching out to someone in care and concern, or our neighbors right next door to us, or people who serve us in different staff positions. How do we witness about Jesus to them? That is to come and follow me, following Jesus wherever he calls us to. So perhaps what we are praying for today is about Jesus' call on our lives. Where is he calling us today? Perhaps we have heard Jesus come and follow me. We have heard the still small voice of God speaking into our lives, but we've been hesitant or even ashamed or uncertain about our own life and our own life choices. And, and we aren't sure we're ready to follow him. We're not sure that we'll be accepted if we want to follow him. Perhaps we are someone who's already following Jesus, and yet we are a believer, but our faith is tired. We are weary. Our trust is weary, and we need a renewed call to follow Jesus in whatever way and to whatever place he is calling us to. So let us join together in singing to our God as we seek to answer, come and follow me. So today I'm using the hymnal from the Evangelical Covenant Church. It's their blue hymnal. It's the most recent. They have several hymns. And if you're someone who has grown up in the Covenant Church tradition, you know there's the brown hymnal, the green hymnal, the red hymnal, and then the more current blue hymnal. So this hymn might be found in, in lots of different hymnals, of course, but I'm utilizing this one for today. Join in with me as you feel led and able. Oh, Master, let me walk with thee in lowly paths of service free. Tell me thy secret, help me bear the strain of toil, the fret of care. Help me the slow of heart to move by some clear winning word of love. Teach me the way stay and guide them in the homeward way. Teach me thy patience still with thee in closer dearer company in work 
like that keeps faith sweet and strong in trust that triumphs over wrong in hope that sends a shining ray far down the future's broadening way in peace that only thou canst give with thee o master let me live i'd like to continue with us uh, with another favorite hymn of mine i want to walk as a child of the light also from this particular hymnal I want to walk as a child of the light. I want to follow Jesus. God set the stars to give light to the world. The star of my life is Jesus. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I want to see the brightness of God. I want to look at Jesus. Clear sun of righteousness, shine on my path and show me the way to the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. I'm looking for the coming of Christ. I want to be with Jesus. When we have run with patience the race, we shall know the joy of the Father. In him there is no darkness at all. The night and the day are both alike. The Lamb is the light of the city of God. Shine in my heart, Lord Jesus. Let us close together praying to the Lord for his provision and protection. Pray with me. Heavenly Father, you hold us in the palm of your hand and you watch over us wherever you go. We go before you and we know that you are with us. You go beside us and we know that you are with us. We put our trust in you as our shepherd and protector. You watch us in our coming in and our going out. You know wherever we are. We pray that you will keep us safe in these days, Lord, that you'll protect us and give us strength and endurance and discernment. We thank you for providing a way for us, for renewed health and safety through medicine and the new vaccine. And we pray for all those in the healthcare who administer it. We pray for our neighbors, our friends and loved ones. Help them know that they are never alone you, Lord, are always with them. You are with each one of us. Help each of us know how best to care for one another, to care for our families and loved ones, our neighbors and friends. Dear God, play, pre, please pray for us 
For all the concerns and challenges that are on our hearts and in our lives today, we ask all this in your holy name. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a wonderful day. Amen.